Hello everyone and welcome to this video. Now today I'm going to be looking at an album which was requested by um like by like my very good friend Vinyl Collector James like he asked me to look at U2's album War. So yes, I will just be doing the usual thing like in this video, giving a bit of background information uh, about the album. Then I will show you my vinyl copy of it and then go over each of the album songs. So this was the group's third um, studio album, released on the 28th of February in 1983. Like it was recorded like in like late 1982, like at Windmill Lane Studios in Dublin with producer Steve Lillywhite. Like he like had like produced the band's like first two records, so they were like sort of like very like familiar so like working like relationship like the band like had with him. The album like got its title like because like in like part like to sort of like toughen up like the image like and like the music like as well and like also because like Bono felt um like felt that like war was like all like around again like, in like 1982 like and like wanted to highlight the effects like it had like on like people on like people especially like so like younger people like as depicted like on like the album cover here. It was a commercial success for the band as well, like the first sort of like major commercial breakthrough, like it reached number one on the UK albums charts and, and number 12 on the US charts. Like, however, it wasn't highly regarded like at like, the time like, of release, like an enemy journalist called it dull and static. Like, however, like it has like grown in stature, like it is like one of like, the band's like most like acclaimed works. Like it was ranked at M223 on Rolling Stone's 500 greatest albums of all time list. So I'm now just going to show you my vinyl copy of it here, just a pretty basic and um, um, like UK pressing like off like the album like original pressing so there's a back of it track listed there just sort of like opens up like this a bit of an extended image there nice gatefold here and like some of like the lyrics unfortunately it's not everything like, I think it's like the first like four songs or something so yeah like it would have been like nice to like have got like all of like the lyrics printed like I'm not sure like if I go and and like I'm not sure like if like it like originally like came like with like another like insert like like what had all of like the lyrics printed on it like whether like that's like all like we get here in a sleeve is like an advertisement sleeve and then it is on Island Records I think like on like this nice um custom label so yeah that's the record looked at Okay, so I'm now going to go over each of the album songs. I will score each track out of 10, and then those scores will be used to give us a overall uh, percentage marking for the album. It opens up very strongly with Sunday Bloody Sunday, which is a very sort of like, powerful like protest song like about like the troubles like in Northern Ireland. Musically, this one like was written like by like the Edge like it like after like he like had like an argument like with like his girlfriend, which like he sort of like he channeled like his anger like into like writing like this song. It starts great like with like this very like militaristic like drum pattern like lyrically like it concerns like the human like suffering like going on like in like Northern Ireland like with like this kind of like civil war like what was happening there. It is a great start to the album. The reason why it isn't like a full like 10 out of 10 like is because it does get a little bit like repetitive like towards the end and um, like also like despite like its popularity like as a song now like it was never like a UK or US single like whether like it did reach number three in the Netherlands. Second song up is called Seconds, which is another great, great song. Like again, like a very sort of like interesting like lyric subject like on this one here. Like it's a little bit like sort of like um mysterious like out at the start, like we're not like too sure like what like it's about, like whether like I like whether like later like it does like become clear like it's about like nuclear weapons, like and like that sort of thing, like it could be like seconds like away like from like the world like being like destroyed. Like it's got like a great, great like bass riff on it, like Adam Clayton from Fantastic bass playing like on this one. Interesting, like I read that like, the edge like apparently like sings like the first part like of this song. Like whether like it sounds like pretty much like Bono, so yeah, like a great song there, like great like atmosphere like to this track. Third song up is um another brilliant song, and um, New Year's Day, which I am giving a full 10 out of 10 to. 
absolutely like excellent song very powerful like atmosphere to this one like again like driving like piano like and like guitar like from the edge like amazing like vocals like from bottom like and and, and bottom bottom and um, like lyrically like it's about like it's and um, lyrically like it started off like as like a love song like whether like it did develop like into like this sort of like the song about like the polish and um, like solidarity movement so yeah a great song that like, the lead off single like from the album reached number 10 of the uk singles chart so yeah great song there one of their classics Six. Then we get like a little bump in the road. It's a song called Like a Song, and like I'm giving this a seven out of ten. Like it's by no means like a bad song. Like it's a very sort of like, rocky, slightly sort of like punk, like influenced track. Like apparently like aims like at like U2's like detractors like at the time. Like it's a solid song. Got like, the drums like very much like up front. Like well like it isn't that memorable. Like, like again again like preparation like for like this review. Like I've listened to this album like about three times like recently. But like for me like I just like can't. Like, remember like how like this like song like goes like um so yeah like it goes on a bit like as well like, as well like as well like it's about five minutes like long i think so yeah like um a good song just not great there you know. And then closing off side um, side one, we get the song um, "Drowning Man," which is a very sort of like a, again like atmospheric track, like a lot more like acoustic guitars like on like this one here. Lyrically, like it's quite like religious and um, really just like overtones to it. Like I'm not too keen like on like Bono's like vocal performance. Like he goes a bit like over and um, like he goes a bit like over the top like with this track for me personally. But yeah, still it isn't a bad song though. So yeah, Drowning Man would get a eight out of ten. Like quite a good track. Side two though opens up really really strong with a song called The Refugee, which has a slow start, like whether like it has a real sort of strong like beat like going through it. I think the song develops like really well. Like the chorus like is like quite like anthemic, like like whether like the bridge section like what it goes into like is a lot like more like melodic excellent production like as well like apparently like this is like the only song like not to be produced by steve lillywhite like it's produced by like a guy called bill whelan like he does a great great job like working like with the band like i wish that like he like i had like maybe i had like maybe like produce like one or two more like off the songs like on the album because i absolutely love this track <laughs> Next one is called Two Hearts Beat As One, which I'm giving a 9 out of 10. This is like another song like with a strong like guitar, like propelling like and, and like propelling like the song along. Like it's a little bit similar though to like New Year's Day, like both like in terms like of like sounds, like and also like the melody, like off like the chorus, like the structure like of the song, like it's very, very similar. So that's why like I'm marking it like down a score, like it's not a perfect track. However, it is still a great song. Like again, like a commercially successful single from there reached number 18 on the UK singles charts. So yeah, it is another great, great song for your two hearts beat as one. Next one is possibly my least favourite one like on the album. Like certainly like one of like the like more like average songs called Red Light, which begins like with like these like female like backing vocals like backing vocals like apparently like sort of like um like singers like from Kid Creole and like the Coconuts. Like it's a very sort of funky song. Like we've got like some trumpet in it like which was like new like territory like for like you two. For me it's just not very memorable like as like a song. Slightly lacking like in like the lyrics department as well. So yeah and um, Red Light we get a seven out of ten. <laughs> Then we get for me a really um, underrated track, a song called Surrender, which I am giving a full 10 out of 10 to. It is just a great song, what like you can really like lose yourself like in it. Like again, like there's so many like different textures like on like the recording, and like, not only like the danceable beat, but also like the echoey like vocals on it, like the guitar playing playing like from the edge like also like the harmony vocals like on like the chorus it is just a re really great song quite long like whatever like i think like it like doesn't get bored in this track like it just like takes you like away this song so yeah surrender would would for me get a full 10 out of 10 And um, closing the album, we get um, a song called 40, which is another sort of like religious like song, 
and um, like lyrics like on this one like adapted like from like a passage like off like the bible like it like this is also like the last song like recorded like for the album like added on like at like the last minute like adam clayton like was like unavailable like to play bass so like the edge like plays like both bass like and like guitar it is a much sort of softer song like to end on like bono like really sings this like differently like from like his usual like vocal style like whether like for me like it is a little bit like underwhelming like as like a closing track like, like i mean like when we've had like an album like with songs like new year's day and like sunday bloody sunday surrender like this one like it kind of like seems a like it kind of seems like a bit like off like a letdown and um, they would also finish like all of like the concerts like with this song so yeah like it's quite like a like iconic song like for the band like however for me like it doesn't do too much okay so yeah overall this album would score 85 percent which is a excellent score like a really 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 sort of strong album here you can tell like the band like are like very passionate like about like what they do like they seem like very focused like as well like on like the music for me like there also like needs to be like a lot of like recognition like handed to like the producer like steve like lily white like he like it makes the album just sound stunning like it really like makes like the songs that like, come alive like also like um like also like the like musicianship like is excellent the edge like is like a great guitarist like he never like overplays like on like a song that like, rarely solos like he just like plays like to serve the song like really well and um, like also like adam clayton and like larry mullen jr like on like drums like they're like sort of like um like they're sort of playing like more sort of dance like funk like orientated that like, rhythms and like it really really works like with like their songs like the songwriting like is great so yeah overall uh um fantastic fantastic album so yeah, so I hope you have enjoyed like this review, James, like and like everybody else like watching like out there. Um, I would like to know what you think of this album down below in the comments. And I will see you all next time for the next video. Goodbye.